So let's discuss about Mr. Ibu and his family, his wife, his daughter, who is allegedly his former girlfriend, allegedly sleeping with his first son, his wife, who allegedly cheated on Mr. Ibu, allegedly trying to buy a new an iPhone, and the Mr. Ibu himself, who is currently in the hospital, who is still fighting for his life, who doesn't know his fate. <laughs> you see the irony about things. All because of money donated by Nigerians. Well wishers. All because of money donated for by well wishers. And um, after this whole discussion, before I even started, because of the scandal surrounding this thing, uh, please say, I don't think anybody should. I don't want to, to start being the downfall of anybody, but advised. Uh, I don't think anybody should donate again to Mr. Ibu. Since they are all fighting over the money now, nobody should donate. Nobody should donate again. So, well, the whole scenario started when Mr. Abel's wife said, Jasmine is an imposter trying to ridicule the whole thing in her house, trying to hijack her house, trying to hijack her husband and everything. Very dark man was involved. I already posted a video. Very dark, dark man got involved, exposed Mr. Abel that Mr. Abel wanted, that Mr. Abel wife wanted an iPhone, wanted this and that, all those kind of stuff coming up. Well, I want to make this remark before I start explaining whatever each of them are currently coming up, the story of how the revelation messages and everything. Firstly, we are forgetting the major person to blame here. Attacking the wife, attacking Jasmine, attacking the son. We are forgetting the major person to blame here. Mr. Ibu. This is a man who made all the wrong choices in his life. He's facing the repercussion now. And we are here passing blames on the woman, on the adopted daughter who is the side chick, on the son. No, Mr. Ebu made the greatest mistakes right from time. It wasn't serious. So pass the blame to him. If you like, call me crazy and blame Mr. Ebu. Mr. Ebu is the fault of all those nonsense that are happening. The choices he made are the one beating him up now on that bed. It's a lesson to you. And to me as well, for us to make right choices, for us to control our cucumber and our mouth, for us to look at something and turn our eyes against it. It's left for you. If you like, catch vibe and start talking, commenting anyhow, not really comprehending all those stories that we have been discussing, Mr. Ebu's story. It's not for Fledger alone, it's for you not to make the same mistake the man made. He made a lot of mistakes. It's not perfect, although that, that's what you're going to say. But it's pain for it now. Nobody needs to be perfect. You just need to learn from the other mistake in order for you to do yours. People are not passing blame to Mr. Ibu. They are passing blame. They are just focusing on the daughter, daughter alone and everything. So according to some revelations, someone said Mr. Ibu confirmed that he was sleeping with his adopted daughter, Jasmine, but stopped dating her after he caught her sleeping with his son. That is his first son. And if you check, eh, Mr. Ebu made sure, went to the police to authorize that his second son will be in charge of all donations and all monies. Yes, so, so that will tell you the first son, they have issues. I don't know the issues. But here is the audio. I don't know if you will speak Igbo or if you do not speak Igbo. But, but, but let me just play a few. Yes, girl. Uh, no problem. Forget about that. You adopted a daughter and you start knocking that daughter. <laughs> and you say that much as I be control himself. 
I don't know if it's true, if it's not true, but if it's not true, shame on not on auto that person who decided to re reveal this this nonsense. But let us be honest, the audio sounds very, very well like Mr. Ebu, except if, if it's AI. Who wanna use AI for Mr. Ebu now? <laughs> Is it that of a big deal <laughs> for someone to try to do AI on his voice? Let's be honest, guys. Let's be absolutely honest. Let's be absolutely honest, guys. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> ah, you you adopt daughter, of course they knock the daughter joint. Tell me what 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 sort of uselessness is that? People are focusing on where they are not supposed to be focusing on. Honestly speaking, they are focusing where they are not supposed to be focusing on. Very dark man say the woman cheated on Mr. Ibu. <laughs> And Mr. Abel still keeps that woman as a wife. And you are and you are blaming the woman. Come on, man. <laughs> Check this out. Alright. So um I saw what Mr. Abel's wife posted about me and then all the things she said. Now, the last post I made, I wonder, I said you shouldn't say anything online. She just focus about your husband getting better. You understand but apparently she does not want to do that since she wants to do damage control let me go start with the evidences and for people that know me you know me i like evidence i don't just open my mind to blah 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 let's start with evidence one listening to all these voice notes eh? Oh, man. Yeah. Eh? problem now, nice, yeah. mm. My wife got born loot, yeah. Mm. And the cultic women. Mm. I be them nice. And I tell you, boom, nice, yeah. When you born cultic women, mommy? Uh. Uh uh. Daddy, keep on. Daddy, what happened now? Huh? Ah. Uh. Daddy, mommy cannot do that. Don't worry, mommy cannot do that. I'm coming to the hospital. Alright, so you heard what Mr. Ibu said. Mr. Ibu said his wife was coming with some occultic women to come and buy him. And then when he was telling Jasmine, Jasmine was telling him that, no, your wife is not here. Your wife is praying for you. But that's not all. Let's continue. I'm praying for you yesterday. I was there. I was a that's witness. That's mommy has been praying for you here in the hospital. Hmm? Nobody. Daddy, who give daddy phone now? Oh, no. When I give him phone? Hello. Eh? Daddy, I'm coming. Daddy, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming, I'm coming there now. Okay? Okay, okay, okay? Just relax. I'm coming there now. The doctors are there with you. Nobody's going to do anything to you. Mommy is not going to. Mommy is not trying to. Well, see, the thing be said. Say the man is the woman trying to kill him, all those kind of things. The thing be seen. I don't know why. When a man is crying or a woman is crying that doesn't want to stay in a relationship again in marriage, that person is crying. Why do you always try to settle matter? Anybody that tries to go to someone's house to settle matter, you deserve correct slap. See, you deserve slap. Eh? You deserve worse than what is happening to that person. If someone is tired of someone, eh? you see it in his face, he's tired or she is tired. Let that person leave that marriage. Marriage is not by force. Until that person is by, before you start pointing out using fingers, this man is saying, he doesn't want the woman again. And people will be begging. Let the woman stay. God will punish. See, <laughs> sorry. I, I, I get angry with some people who will just, you know, when two people, someone is saying this, what this woman is doing to me. I want to leave this woman. I want to leave it. Not once, not twice, not four. No, many, many times. Or a woman is saying this, what this man is doing. I want to leave this man. I want to leave this man. I want to leave this man. Then you, you are acting as if you are Jesus Christ. We are fighting the lost battle. Who sent you? Go to the settle house. Why can't you let them have a divorce? 
If they divorce, they find and say, ah, they divorce me and divorce, you know, favor me, oh, they will come back to each other again. Who are you to start and say, I act as God or as Jesus Christ? People should learn how to mind their businesses, so not to get into a into a means something that God is fighting to make sure these people separate, trying to safeguard their life. You start coming there and being the devil advocate to join them together to kill each other. And you don't know, you think you are an angel of light, but you don't know the devil is using you to settle to, to settle things. <laughs> Before you start going to that neighbor's house to settle matter, sit down, I think. Maybe it's God work. Maybe not God they work so to make sure say these people know they together. Who are you to start trying to bring them together? Did God spoke to you through the dream that you should settle the house? Hmm? People do not mind their businesses, man. Honestly, honestly, I've, I've, I've seen me. I'm the last person to settle at home. Last. I will never see couples fighting. I say. No, and I stay together. Go for beat. Go for beat. I am not that kind of thing. You guys will find your way. As soon as I take quarter, so when I go find our way, take come back together, all in a scatter, and the life go like that. Stop going to people's house and bringing husband and wife together that don't want to stay with each other. Stop being devil advocate. Stop being a devil, a devil a, a agent on heart, trying to settle people. God might, God might, have you sat down to think God might be working his miracles trying to separate these people who are not compatible, trying to save one person from the other? Have you ever thought about it? Maybe the devil is pushing you to go and uh, settle them. I pity Mr. Hmm? He caused all those things for himself. He caused all those things for himself. He said, man, he caused it. But he's trying to rectify it now. People are pushing him to accept it. Allow this man to go. Uh-uh. Oh, to the man, bye. 